Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back in action. How are you? Fine. All right. I like that. I like that. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Very happy. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Oh, oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. That's right. Yesterday Tuesday was Monday. March. Today is Tuesday. Bye. That's right. Um, who can tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? In the previous class, we talk about the question with WH. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And mm -hmm. how to how to tell people in I, I don't know remember how how to say, mm -hmm. but here he's there ours. Mm -hmm. Correct, correct, very good. Um, I would like for Diego ask Josue a question. Uh, Josue respond and then vice versa. Josue ask the question and Diego respond. Oh. Diego ask the question, Josue respond, and then Josue ask the question and Diego respond. Okay, okay. Josue, uh, where do you live? I live in Santa Ana City. Very okay. good question. Awesome. Now, Josue ask a question and Diego responds. Okay, Diego, what do you do right now? Right now, I'm, I, I am in English class. Very good. In that case, uh, I'm going to say the question is, what are you doing right now? And then he says, I am learning English. I am learning English. <clears throat> Excellent question. Uh, now I would like for Josue select somebody, please. Josue select another student, please. Uh, Stephanie. All right, let me have a Stephanie Morales. Morales, a Stephanie. Yes. Okay, y quién era el otro participante? Jenny Melendez está. ¿Quién era? Diego. Jenny Melendez y Diego Valle. Oh, okay. Ah, pues eh, Jenny Melendez. Hi, teacher. Hi. I would like for you to ask um, Stephanie a question and Stephanie is going to respond and then vice versa, Stephanie will ask the question and Jenny responds, please. Hey, hi, Stephanie. Hi. What are you doing next weekend? I um, I uh, Stephanie, your microphone is on silence. I um, I was OK, 
sorry. I think uh, Stephanie is probably having problems with her microphone. So you can say, for example, um, I am shopping. Um, you can say, um, I am working, if you have to work. Um, I am visiting my family. Um, I am traveling to Costa Rica, Costa Rica, or whatever, whatever. But, but teacher, I have a question. Yes. What is your question? Uh, she she asked in future. She Correct. asked, but I am shopping is what is in present. Are you doing next weekend? Yes. Very good uh, observation. We can use the present continuous structure when you are going to be um, expressing a planned activity in the future. If you, if you use the present continuous, like in this context, I am shopping. Or you can say, I am going to go shopping. Both are acceptable. I am going to work. That's acceptable. I am going to visit my family. That's acceptable. I am going to travel <clears throat> to Costa Rica. That's acceptable. So uh, you can use the future structure Subject, be verb, going to, and the base form of the verb. Go, work, visit, travel. This is the normal, this is the normal future for planned activities, okay? So these structures, can only be used for planned activity. This structure and this structure can be used for future planned activities. Another question? No, no, no. Okay. Uh, let me have two more volunteers. Uh, let me have a Stephanie select somebody and Jenny select somebody. Aurora. Uh, Aurora Marinero. Okay, Aurora. And uh, Jenny select somebody. Um, Daniel Palacios. Okay, Daniel Palacios. So we are going to have Aurora ask Daniel the question, Daniel respond, and then vice versa. I have a question. One square. I'm sorry, repeat. Um, I uh, am question. Uh, yes, uh, Aurora 
ask the question and uh, Daniel respond. Aurora, me escuchas? Yes. Okay. Uh, Aurora, where are you from? I'm from Salvador. Uh, Aurora, um... Only one question. Aurora, where are you from? I am from El Salvador. That's it. Now, Aurora, ask the question. Daniel, respond. When are you for? Oh, uh, the question is, what is the question? Um, I work. I work in te in test field. Oh, the question is, where do you work? Is that la pregunta? No. Mm -hmm. Where are you born? A donde naciste? Where mm -hmm. were you born? Y ahí usted le va a responder. I was born in Miami. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So this is just um, a little review about the topics and the vocabulary that we were looking at in yesterday's class. So today, um, I would like to continue. Um, at this moment, does anybody have any questions about the topics, uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar, intonation, anything that you want to ask about yesterday's class? Somebody. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Jenny. Because I need help me in the in pronunciation. Uh, for example, um, in the uh, hay algunas palabras que no les no las puedo pronunciar bien mm -hmm. y me pasa lo mismo que a la compañera que a veces yo pregunto una cosa y la otra persona no comprendió mm -hmm. lo que yo no le pre lo que yo eh, quería preguntar eh, mm -hmm. por ejemplo eh, que en lo que acaba de suceder que ella decía where do you work pero mm -hmm. no era lo que ella estaba preguntando sino que ella estaba preguntando que the burned mm -hmm. entonces eh, cómo mejorar la entonación a la hora de estar hablando inglés uh -huh. y que se me escuche o que yo pueda expresar lo que yo estoy queriendo preguntar o uh -huh. expresarme. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good question. Very good question. Um, recuerde que estamos aprendiendo, vamos empezando, right? Ustedes ahorita están como... Eh, babies están eh, un baby empieza gateando eh, se raspa se cae eh, da un pasito después da otro pasito so es muy natural y es muy normal que por en veces usted pronuncie una palabra que no la pronunció muy bien tal vez el otro compañero no le entendió that's normal ok eh, cuando, eh, por ejemplo, le voy a dar un ejemplo. Cuando usted está buscando una estación en la radio, right? ¿Usted qué está haciendo con el, con el tuner, con el tuning? ¿Qué está haciendo? Usted busca la frecuencia, right? Okay. Usted right. Allí está, le hace para acá, le hace para allá, hasta que boom, agarra la frecuencia. So, el idioma es igual. Eh, por en veces, incluso Mr. Santos comete errores cuando yo pronuncio palabras en español. Eh, ¿Por qué? Eh, yo tuve que reaprender el español. So, 
hasta estas etapas de mi vida, yo por en veces pronuncio palabras incorrectas, erróneamente. Right? So it's a, it's a development. It's, it's mm -hmm. practice, um, listening to music is a very good way. Usted pone una canción, um, lady in red, dancing in the moonlight, cheek to cheek. Y usted lleva pronunciando, uh, o si no pone, um, in the wind of change, I listen to the Moscow. Así, música suave, Bon Jovi, um, Bob Marley, um, The Beatles, Hello, Goodbye, Don't Worry, Be Happy. Eh, canciones que usted pueda ir con ese tempo, con ese ritmo. Y al principio, aunque usted no entienda el 100% de la pronunciación, no va a entender lo que significa el vocabulario, pero de repente, usted, su cerebro va a estar ya en sintonía. Y usted va a decir, oh my God, I understand. Oh my God, he understands me. Ok. Le estoy diciendo, eh, me pasó a mí cuando yo vine al país. Yo eh, escuchaba la radio, escuchaba la tele y yo en entendía esto. Eh, canal 4, eh, Univisión. Y no entendía casi nada de lo que decía. ¿Por qué? Porque mi oído solamente estaba tuned para el inglés. So, ahora no, ahora yo veo la noticia y la entiendo. No el 100%, pero sí la entiendo. Puedo expresar mis ideas mejor en español. No me trabo tanto. Pero fue algo que tuve que practice, practice. O sea, de, dedicarle tiempo. Eh, yo escuchaba música, yo leí del periódico, eh, platicaba con personas. Eh, hacía un esfuerzo consciente para mejorarlo, porque yo sabía que en el ámbito profesional yo, necesía man, yo necesitaba manejar el español. Thank you, teacher. Okay. All right. Hi, good night, teacher. Hello, uh, Iris. Hi. Aportando a lo que usted mencionaba, cómo practicar. Este es una táctica que yo he utilizado y siento que me ha ayudado mucho. Uh -huh. Es que yo he descargado una aplicación eh, de radio. Entonces, uh -huh. escucho las emisoras en inglés. Uh -huh. Sinceramente, al principio, este, prácticamente no se entiende nada, pero a medida que uno la va escuchando durante todo el día, quizás viene a... Uh -huh. asimilar eh, algunas palabras y dice, ya, ya voy entendiendo uh -huh. y así uh -huh. sucesivamente o sea, es de acostumbrar el cerebro para, uh -huh. para poder como ir como quien dice, adaptándonos al otro idioma that's right, that's right es una, es una transición ok, es un desarrollo no va a pasar es como cuando vas al gym tú quieres ir al gym y en una semana ya quieres tener el six pack, el pectoral cholo, los brazos grandes. Eh, no pasa así. Yo en la banca levanto 210 libras, peso libre. Pero yo no empecé levantando 210 libras, peso libre. Yo apenas podía hacer una pechada cuando empezaba. Right. So, a través del tiempo, la fuerza se va incrementando. El músculo va creciendo, se va haciendo más fuerte. De igual manera, tu eh, cerebro va obteniendo más vocabulario, va, va conectando frases. Tú miras, por ejemplo, una series en Netflix o una película en Netflix y tú pones el audio en inglés y el subtítulo en inglés. Y tú puedes ver la frase y la expresión de la persona. Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, hey, 
What you doing? Y hago las manos así. Hey, what you doing? Aunque yo no lo exprese, yo te hago así a ti. ¿Qué vas a entender? Hey, ¿qué estás haciendo, verdad? So, allí estás haciendo una conexión visual, auditiva y lectura. Estás leyendo la palabra, escuchando la palabra y estás viendo las frases y los movimientos. So, tú puedes ver una serie o una movie que ya la viste 10 veces en español. Y tú prácticamente ya sabes lo que va a decir el actor en la próxima frase. ¿Por qué no la pones en inglés? Y párate enfrente de tu plasma si tú ya sabes lo que va a decir. Hey, I went to work today. What did you do? Y dice el, el otro. Oh, everything was good. I had a headache in the afternoon, but then I had a coffee, so now I feel good. Oh, that's awesome. Do you want to go to the movies? No, not really. I'm tired. O sea, allí tú estás pronunciando y estás mimicking, mimicking, mimicking. Este, como, como un espejo. Así como los actores. Antes de actuar, ellos están con el espejo enfrente y están repitiendo la misma parte hasta que se lo tiene memorizado. All right. Questions, questions. Ok, vamos a continuar. So yesterday we were looking at who's, where's, what's, who, where are, how are. So básicamente vimos el WH question. So today we are looking at section 1.8, 1.8. Now for the section 1.8, you're gonna look at in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers will be with B are introduced. Uh, en esta lesión, los participantes escucharán una conversación entre dos personas donde preguntas y respuestas cortas con el verbo be son presentadas. Por ejemplo, what is your name? Ahí está el verbo to be. Uh, la frase, how's it going? Esta es una muy... Eh, esta frase es como la frase de quebra hielos eh, en todo lugar. Eh, tú estás en un club, estás en un bar, estás en un eh, haciendo fila en un super, estás en un banco, estás en la parada del bus y alguien te dice, how's it going? Quiere decir que esa persona tiene interés de hablar contigo. Ok, si ellos te preguntan, how's it going? Y tú le dices, oh, terrible, oh, it's terrible, the pandemic, I don't have money, I don't have a job. Ellos no quieren saber eso, right? Si alguien te dice, hey, how's it going? Quiere decir que esa persona quiere interactuar contigo. All right, tú le dices, ah, good, everything's good. What about you? Y tú, oh, awesome. You going to work? Vas para el trabajo? Yeah, and you? Yeah, me too. What do you do? Oh, I'm a teacher. And you? Oh, I'm a lawyer. Y es algo muy, muy eh, quiebra hielos, right? Si alguna vez tú estás en algún lugar y quieres platicar con esa persona exactamente, no te tienes que inventar una fórmula. Eh, básicamente estas tres palabras te abren la puerta. How's it going? Right, si la persona ya te, me, te mira así como que y ni te habla, es porque no está interesado. Basically. Any questions? Y eso ya es parte de la cultura. Eh, Josué, veo que está hablando, pero no se le escucha. Um, hello. Hi, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Um, how is it going is the same 
How is it going on? Uh -huh. What's going on? What's going on? Es lo mismo. How's it going? What's going on? What's up? Eh, how are you? Eh, what's around? What's going on? Uh -huh. son, o sea, todas estas son quebra hielos. Son para okay. iniciar una conversación. All right. si, te la, si tú le dices, si la persona te dice, how's it going? Y tú, así como que, ah, como que me quiere quitar unos 20 pesos. Eh, <laughs> tú le puedes decir, oh, oh, it's all good. Y le haces con la mano así, it's all good. Eh, quiere decir que no me hables. All right. Todo bien, pero no me hables. Básicamente. Y ahí la persona tiene que entender que no quiere hablar contigo. All right. Okay. Right. Now let's look at the conversation. How's it going? Uh, everybody, please listen to the conversation. Listen, please. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how San He and David ask each other yes, no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Ok, so quiero que vean que estas fueron las quiebra hielos. Y esto es universal, guys. Ok, estas, estas dos líneas te pueden abrir eh, la puerta para conversación con cualquier persona. Aunque no con, con eh, digamos que no sabes el nombre de la persona. Tú solo le dices, hey, how's it going? Estás en la U, es un compañero de trabajo. Eh, estás haciendo con en el banco, whatever, whatever. Tú le dices a alguien, hey, how's it going? Ellos normalmente te van a decir, fine, thanks, how are you? O fine, thanks, and you? Right? Allí ya te abrió la puerta a la persona para platicar. Ah, tú le respondes, pretty good. Eh, ¿Y cómo van tus clases? Eh, pretty good. Eh, ¿Cómo va el trabajo? So, how is work? Oh, pretty good. Uh, ¿Llevas mucho tiempo aquí? Have you been waiting long? Uh, lo que sea, right? Pero las primeras tres palabras. Hey, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Solo eso necesitas para abrir la puerta de conversación. Do you understand? Questions, questions? Okay. Semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay. Um, in this moment, do the you have now. any questions about the pronunciation or the vocabulary, or any of these um, vocabulary that you see here? Any questions? Questions, questions about the pronunciation? Chemistry. Huh? Chemistry. 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 Repeat. Chemistry. 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 Mm -hmm. Chemistry. So the, the CH se pronuncia como K. K. No ch, ch, ch. No. K. Chemistry. Okay. We're going to practice. <laughs> We're going to practice. The conversation in pairs. Any questions? Any questions? Questions, questions? Yes, I have a question. What's up? 
why is the conversation say semester and after say chemistry? Ah, very good question. Semester means ciclo. En la U. Porque ahí le está diciendo ella a él. Eh, yes, they are. Okay, pretty good. So are, are your classes interesting this semester? Eh, Son interesante tus clases este ciclo? Yes, they are. Sí, lo son. I really love chemistry. Amo química. ¿Química? ¿Tú y Beth están en la misma clase? Huh, ya le está reclamando. Eh? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Mi clase está en la mañana. Ella está en la tarde. Ah, listen. Eh, mira, listen en este caso no es como escúchame o pon atención. Es como un, un filtro como para llamar la atención o, o como quien dice cambiar de tema. Eh, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Voy de camino a la cafetería. ¿Estás libre? Claro que sí. Vamos. All right, so that's the topic of the conversation. Are you ready? Yes. Any questions? Any question. Somebody, one body, two body, anybody, somebody ask me a question? Me, teacher, I don't find this section that we are working in the platform. Ah, okay, do I say I don't find or I can't find? What is correct? Okay. I don't find or I can't find. I sure. I don't find. No, I can't find. I can't find. Okay. So okay, in the, I can't find. So this is on section 1.9 conversation. How's it going? Okay, okay. It's right here after this section over here. Okay, sure. Okay, so yeah. at, at this moment, I would like for you to practice this conversation in pairs. Practica la conversación con tu pareja. Cinco veces. Five minutes. Ready? Let's go. Tiene que darle clic al botón que dice ingresar a sesión o entrar a sesión.
Vale. Empezamos. Si quiere, yo comienzo. Yo soy uh -huh. Sonji, creo que es la mujer, ¿no? Vaya, vaya, dele, empiece. Hey, David, how, how is it going? Fine, thanks, how are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry. Chemistry? Are you embedded in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Va, uh, ahora cambiamos. Okay, I will be sung here. Hey, David, how it's going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love. ¿Cómo es que se pronunciaba esta? Chemistry. 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 Are you in bed in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way on the cafeteria now. Are you are you free? Sure, let's go. Another one. Uh, you will be Sanji. I will be David. Hey, David, how is going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you in bed in the same class? No, we are in my class is in the morning, her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. The last one, I will be Sanji. Hey, David, how it's going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I am on, I on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, okay. Hey, David. Where are you from, Jacqueline? San Miguel. I San am Michael. San Miguel. I'm San from Michael's. San Miguel. <laughs> That's right. I am from San Miguel. No, I am San Miguel. No, I am. <laughs> I am from San Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> are we practicing the same call? <laughs> All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please, at this moment. Two volunteers, two volunteers. Yeah. All right, Mr. Josue Avalos. I, can... uh, I can't practice this conversation with my partner. Okay, it's okay. We're going to practice right now. Okay. So I want Josue is going to be David. Who wants to? Okay, Edgar, you are going to be Sun He. Josue is David. Edgar is Sun He. Action. Hey, David. How is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you embedded in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. 
Are you free? Sure, let's go. All right, perfect. Good job, gentlemen. Very good. Now, at this moment, um, you are going to record your pronunciation on vocaroo.com. Van a irse a Google, okay? Van a irse a Google. Van a escribir acá vocaroo.com online voice recorder Bocaro. y se va a grabar acá hey what's going on all good any interesting classes this semester sure I like chemistry chemistry are you and Beth in the same class and then you're going to guardar y compartir. Then you're going to look at this link and you're going to go copiar. And then you're going to go to the platform and you're going to go añade una publicación. Título, you're going to write your name. And then here you're going to paste the recording and then enviar. Any questions? All, all the conversation. Uh, repeat, uh, that is correct. That is correct. You're going to repeat the whole conversation. Repeat, please. <laughs> You're going to record yourself on vocaroo.com right here. Vocaroo. You're going to record your voice, right? For example going on all good any interesting classes this semester sure i like chemistry chemistry are you and beth in the same class so you're going to repeat the conversation and you're going to record Okay. here and then you're going to paste the recording here so that we can listen to you hey what's going on all good any interesting class do you understand do you understand Okay. Hello. Hello. Ahora pon atención. Luego sumerjo el huevo amarillo en la pintura. Hi guys. Hi lady, how are you? Fine, thank you. Well, what's supposed we have to do? Uh, the teacher says that we have to practice uh, the pronunciation in the link that he shared with us. The pronunciation, sorry? 
Yeah, we have to practice the conversation and we have to record it in the page ah, yeah. that, that he says, right? Yes, I understand that part and I was trying to to record, but... Yeah, then when you finish the... Yeah, when you, you finish the recording, you will copy the link and you will share in the page. As last homework, that we do. Yeah. Okay, of course. I got it. Thank you. Welcome. Sure. Teacher. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? I said, is everybody finished? No. Are you finished? Teacher, I was trying, but I couldn't because I'm from my cell phone and it's a little bit difficult. Oh, that's okay. But That'll be your homework. Tomorrow in the morning because we'll, tomorrow I will have a computer. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, si no lo puede hacer ahorita, it's okay. Le puede quedar de tarea para después. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. All right. Is everybody finished? Now, for the next activity, we're looking at section 1.10, lesson objective. By the end of this class, the participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with a B verb. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de hacer preguntas de sí y no 
y responder forma corta con el verbo be. Ok, ¿se acuerdan en la actividad anterior? Alguien me preguntó, teacher, ¿vamos a escribir las respuestas de las preguntas? No, porque ahora vamos a ver las respuestas. Short answers. Short answers. Listen, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes-no questions and give short answers with B. Yes-no question. Ok, so, eh, la diferencia entre esta actividad y la anterior es que aquí solo vamos a ver verbo to be. Are, is. Are, is. Eh, con, ¿Quién me puede decir cómo sabes cuando vas a usar el are y cómo sabes cuando vas a usar el Is. ¿Quién me puede decir? Mi is plural. Ok. Is singular. Very good. Is es para tercer persona singular. He is. She is. Y are es para primer persona. Are you. O para plural. Are we. Are they. Listen to the video, please. Questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes, he is, yes, we are, yes, you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying, no, he's not, or no, he isn't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. All right. <clears throat> the same with negative answers. When your answer is... So, la pregunta va así. Si yo te digo, verbo to be, is, ¿quién me puede dar un sujeto que va con is? Un sujeto? She. Ok. She. Y un complemento. She beautiful. Very good. Is she beautiful? Bonita. Excellent. Y es pregunta. Uh, ahora uno con R. Con R. Are, Are you an engineer? Are you, are you student. a student? Ok, are you a student? Ok, ahora para esta actividad no solamente va a escribir la pregunta, va a escribir la respuesta. Are you a student? Yes. Yes, I am. I am. O? Oh. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very good. No, I'm not. Is correct. All right. So, me va a poner cinco preguntas y cinco respuestas utilizando el verbo to be. Y las vamos Teacher. a escribir. Excuse ¿Mandé? me. Yes. In the, in the last class, no, activity in the penultimate, I can do it in this activity. Because the platform say me is mistake is mistake in all uh, sentence. Okay, send me a, a screenshot to my WhatsApp private, and I will help you. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. 
Uh, any questions at this moment about this activity? Any questions? No. Nobody? Okay, let's work in pairs. Start for me. All right, um, can anybody give me an example? Somebody give me an example. Me, teacher? Yes, please, Iris, give me an example, please. Okay, is David your brother? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, he is, or no, no he isn't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect, very good. Somebody else, another example, another participant? Me, teacher. Very good, go ahead. Are you a doctor? Yes, I am. Perfect. No, I am not. 
Perfect. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Another volunteer? Another volunteer, Edgar? Are you a mechanic? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Excellent. Excellent. Somebody else? Another volunteer? Me. All right, Josue. Are you an uh, English teacher? No, I'm not. Yes, All right. Am. All right. Perfect. Very good, Josue. Another volunteer. I. Okay. Are we a good students? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Very good. Or no, we aren't. Perfect. Are we good students? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Another volunteer. That's it. Okay. All right, guys. Time's up. Please continue working on the platform. And we see you tomorrow. Good night. Sweet dreams. Take care. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Bye bye.